Hey everybody, this is Dean DeCosta, and today we're going to learn something a little different and utilizing a tool. Now, as most of you know, when you're doing a uh, Boolean string on uh, uh, Google, it, it can be tough sometimes to find specific locations you're looking for. Um, so as an example, if I do in URL colon resume Java developer, that's great. But if you want them in Seattle, as an example, your choices are pretty much put Seattle, try area codes but realize that a lot of people use cell phones and their area code could be anywhere list all the cities which since google's got a 32 word limit that's kind of a problem or use the only way within the us that really is um i don't want to say it's foolproof but you know it, it covers all your bases and that's zip codes so how do you do that so let's use an example here um first thing we want to do we need to find a zip code for seattle washington so i'm just going to put in zip code seattle Washington and we're gonna see what the zip code is we get now you see you got a bunch of here but what I really want to know is I really would love to get an idea what the zip code is that has the highest population or at least in the middle of the city or something and that what we're gonna find out okay so this is Seattle these are zip codes in the surrounding area so let's pick the middle of the city get in there it says 98104 great that works then you go to a site. In this particular case, I'm going to uh, zip-codes.com. And the reason I'm doing it is because it does a lot of stuff and I really like it. So we're going to put within zero miles and 30. And we're going to put 98104. It's in the middle of Seattle. So what this is going to do is it should be getting me all the zip codes that are between zero and 30 miles away from Seattle. And as you can see, boom, 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 it does it. And it comes all the way down to here. And as you can see, it ticks everything. Uh, some of it's Tacoma, some of that we did go 30 miles. So that's great. But the question is, what do you do with it? Well, first thing we want to do is get them in numerical order, high to low, low to high, it really doesn't matter. And then we're going to just check, make sure it's done. So we go at the bottom, it's 98001. We go all the way up top, it's 98497. Great. In the United States, zip codes are sequential. All those are within, there's no zip code that's not going to be within the 30 mile radius. You see, there's a lot of them that are even Tacoma. So we may have even gone too far by saying 30, but we're going to do that. So 98001, 98497. And we're going to come back to our, our uh, string and we're going to put 98000 dot dot. And we're going to go back, make sure I got the high number because I might have forgotten. It's 98497. 98 four nine seven now the dot dot is a boolean operator for number range so basically it's saying look for nine eight zero 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 and nine eight four nine seven and any other five digit number in between it so nine eight zero zero one nine eight zero zero two now if i remember correctly it was actually nine eight zero zero one was the low so we're going to do this we're going to see what we get so in url colon resume java so we should get java developer and hopefully people have a uh, zip code within that range, and as you can see, we did. We got 20 results. 98000. There's one. It's 98119, 98108. So we got exactly what we asked for, and this did indeed narrow it down to a specific area that covered uh, what we wanted, and that's great. So what I'm going to do in an attempt to make this a little better, uh, the zip code range definitely worked using zip-codes.com. And that's the tool I want to specify. This is important because this actually can uh, get you the radius, which is hard to get sometimes. You can even, could I could have even used this to find out what the uh, zip code for Seattle with the highest population is. That capability is here as well. I just chose to do it through a regular search so you could see it can be done either way. As you can see, zip code database, Canadian, the zip code plus four, zip code API, uh, get the U.S. zip code database. I mean, you have so many things. You got radius finder, share this page, map view, table view, so many things. Let's get back to our string. Now, what would happen instead of in URL, instead we just went ahead and did resume. Uh, we're going to look the same thing, but we're going to do a file type command, file type, and we're going to look for PDF, oops, excuse me, PDFs. PDF. Let's see what that does. Uh, I misspelled file type, so it probably won't. I uh, actually did pretty good considering I misspelled file type. Let's try it again and actually spell file type correctly. Uh, Google obviously uh, took care of that for me. File type. Let's try it again. And we got 12 more people again, all fitting within the 98001, 98497. 
So that works really, really well for us um, and, and, and does the job we wanted to do and, and really did a good job. I put in another dot, excuse me, I'm putting in another dot because I had been told, and, I, and it is accurate, that the new Google um, uh, Boolean structure basically has a number range being two dots or three. So I just want to show you it can work either way. But that gets you a pretty good idea of what the range is now. Does that mean you get everybody? No, some people aren't list, listing the zip codes. You're going to have to try something else. But it still gives you a pretty good idea what's going on and gets you pretty close. Now, you know that has a phone number. It is a 206. That's good. But like I said, not everybody is 206, 425, 253, which is the majority of the area codes in the area. So some of them aren't. And you're going to miss out on a lot of people. Um, so there you go. That was it. And the big key was to teach you about the zip-codes.com because of all the things it can do for you besides just find you zip codes and then find you zip codes in a range and all that good distance calculations, all sorts of neat stuff. And that's pretty much it. This is Dean DeCosta. We were talking um, using zip codes to find people in a given geograph area and specifically using zip-codes.com.